YouTube, it's Faye, and welcome back to my channel. If you arrived at part four of my Oto Transmission Fun series from either part one, two, or three, um, in today's video, part four, I'm going to be discussing all of the seals that should be replaced on the Oto Transmission before reinstallation. This happens to be a topic of particular interest for me because, as some of you know, I have replaced my clutch multiple times prematurely. Um, I say prematurely only because the clutch disc was not worn very much at all, um, but instead I had some leaking seals that got oil on my clutch and made it impossible for me to go anywhere. So um, I don't want you to make the same mistake as I did. So here is part four. Um, seals. One of the seals that you may need to replace is this axle cup or axle flange seal. It probably doesn't look like I already replaced it to you because it looks a little dirty, but that is actually transmission sealant. I had an old school Volkswagen transmission rebuilder guy once tell me that was a good idea to do after replacing that seal, this cup seal. So now as a result of always just put a little, just put a little there. Um, now I tried to do the other side and the other side did not make it. Sometimes, actually I reuse the seal. Sometimes you can actually, if you take these out really carefully, you can reuse them and they're totally fine. Um, that is not the case for this one. This one I totally destroyed. And on the other side of my lovely transmission, you see I've got a work in progress going on over here. Another reason why we might need to replace this outer flange seal is in case we need to replace a leaking inner flange seal and these are very prone to leakage over time now you do not have to do this with the transmission out of the vehicle you can also do this when the transmission is installed in the vehicle however the transmission is out my axles are not attached to my flanges so it just makes sense now if you'd like to see me replace these flanges remove and replace or replace this seal and that inner seal then stay tuned for O2O transmission fun part five which will be coming up very shortly. Uh, I did try to put it at the end of this video and it was just way too long. Way, way too long. Okay, so the two most important seals to replace on this transmission while it is out are these two. This is your input seal or your input shaft seal and this is your pushrod seal. Now this guy was leaking on me for a while and ruined two clutch discs before I was like, wait a second, there's a seal there. <laughs> Obviously this one's blue, it's easy for me to see, but back in the day I didn't know any better. I was not used to this style uh, transmission and um, so I it was black, I didn't even see it and it was also covered in, in goo, go figure. Um, but in order to remove this, you've got to of course first take the that push rod out and oh my gosh, what a pain in the butt. Well here's how you do it. You push down on the clutch release lever. And you pull it out. Now, there is one side, this side. See how it's rounded? This is the side that um, makes contact with our throwout bearing. And then the other side this side that is tapered, this is the side that's going to be towards the engine and is going to make contact with that clutch release plate. So make sure that you don't put these things in backwards, otherwise they could bind. Um, set that aside. Now before I go ahead and remove this, I'm going to first double check and make sure that the one that I have is correct. And there it is. You see how it looks a little a little differently? This one is metal, um, like my original one was. That's why I didn't really realize what was going on. And that looks about right. Next, I'm going to grab a little flat blade screwdriver. It's got to be small so that I can pry it around. And I'm just going to very carefully make sure that I'm not making any contact with the metal on the interior of this. So I've got to be really careful, take it really slow, and make sure that I'm prying only against that rubber seal to pop it out. And now if you take a look inside, you see that mystery bushing that um, came included in the kit, the bolt and seal kit. Do you see that bushing in there? You can replace that bushing if your 
push rod has any play whatsoever. Mine has literally none, <laughs> which is awesome. But I replaced that last time. I will link in the description below um, a really great tutorial that shows all the steps for going through and replacing that bushing. However, I'm not going to do that today because I'm worried that I may do more harm than good. I'm just going to go ahead and replace the seal. And I'm just going to start by lining it up. Getting in, in the hole so it looks fairly even. That looks good. And then I've got my little 10 millimeter socket. Um, and I actually chose a 12 point because the top is like a little more round, a little more even. And my ball peen hammer. Oops, that doesn't look quite even actually. Still looking good. Alrighty, that looks awesome. Now I'm going to install my push rod back in. I mean, at this point um, would be when you'd want to replace this seal. However, I did just replace this seal and I know it's good. Um, so I'm going to keep it as is. Um, and my rounded side, of course, is going to be going in through my bushing all the way to the edge. Another seal that I need to replace is this shift shaft seal. And just for demonstration purposes, I put it back together, but I already had it apart. We're gonna start by removing this 13 millimeter nut on the shifter, pulling the shifter off. Now there's a little keyway on this, um, so you really can't install it raw. I mean, I guess you could always wedge it on there. <laughs> wrong but if it's taking excessive force i just put this back in just for demonstration purposes obviously you're going to pry that out but i just didn't want to have to pry it out twice um here is the old seal it was definitely leaking i had a bunch of um, oil build up here residue and you can also see um in my boot there's like a ton of old nasty grease and stuff in there so i'm definitely going to clean this out before i reinstall it i am Lubricating the shaft, but just only with a little bit of transmission fluid. Here's my new seal. And when you put these on, I was taught to always rotate as you push on so that you don't cause damage to that internal part of the the seal this little ring here with that little and a lot of people like to to jam a bunch of um grease in there and you know i there's probably nothing wrong with that i'm sure you can do that too um i just find that this method works really good for me i'm just starting to line it up evenly Now I've got a, what size is this, 22, 22 millimeter socket and a ball peen hammer. That looks pretty good. Now the next thing that we can do while the transmission is out, but once again, just like our shift shaft seal we don't actually have to have the transmission out in order to do this it just makes it a little bit easier and hey while i'm here might as well um is replace our throw out bearing now as you can probably tell i'm looking at the tail end of the transmission actually fifth gear is right behind here um so you're probably like what the heck are you doing Faye? oh and my little fill port is right here but we'll talk about that later um let me show you i'm gonna start out with my chisel this may surprise some of you eek don't get mad at me um and i'm going to literally chisel off this plate it's gonna get a little deformed but that is a-okay flathead screwdriver my little 
blueberry? So now how the heck am I going to get it out, huh? Well, that is a good question. Let me show you. Get a flat head screwdriver and just gently, don't break it, pry off this little thing. See, it's just like, I don't know, mine's kind of damaged, but um, all it is is a little plastic clip. Look how cute it is! Oh, okay, and now it should be able to move a little more past um, this little stopper. Oh, actually, let's see if I can get a better. It's this thing right here. This is all that's keeping that arm from moving enough to get to the throwout bearing. And then from here, I just take my magnet stick. Come here! Oh gosh, <laughs> look at all that gunk. You try to take your magnet stick. All right, well, if you can't take your magnet stick, then all that you have to do is push on the push rod. Then you can take your, okay. And this guy. Well, it's not, it looks fine, it's not bad, but I'm going to replace it anyways. Now, you don't have to have the transmission out of the car to do this. I just, while I'm here, okay, of course, compare. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. While I'm here, I'm going to... Ugh. Wow. Look at that, I've got some cleaning to do. Eek. Oh, look, there's some more. Oh, I did some damage to this guy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Okay, now you can see I cleaned out all those metal shavings and I cleaned, or as best as I could, um, all of the old sealant out of this surface. Because um, actually, believe it or not, this is um, the reason why this is green. It's not like a paint. It's actually the the seal, the sealant that's built into this. So you actually have to replace this every single time. Um, I mean, that's like the right way to do it. Um, I've definitely reused these before <laughs> multiple times. Um, but for the sake of this video um, and telling you the right way to do it, replace these every time. I actually um, do have a new one I got from Parts Place. I'm just going to uh, blow it up. And then before I install my new end cap, another thing to notice is I sanded down um, the burrs. So anywhere that was like a little bit sharp from where I had sort of pried against the side of this to get this cover off. Um, and you want to do this with like really like not super, super rough sandpaper because you don't want to like screw up the surface. You just want to make sure that these aren't super sharp. step of our throwout bearing removal is just replacing this cap which like I said before is also the seal now this may be true on the old one can you see that there's that green going all the way around on the um, on the factory one that came off but then on my new cap there actually isn't any sealant on there at all. Um, now, maybe that's just because this is, uh, it's, you know, it does appear to be slightly tapered, um, and maybe that's just going to be good enough. Um, but just to be, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put a little sealant on there, and this may be a totally unnecessary step. Um, and I've never done this before, so I'm not really talking with a ton of experience. I normally just honestly reuse the old one. Um, but you know what? Even even if I'm thinking about reusing the old one. Um, that uh, that 
gasket is going to come off anyways. So, gosh, I don't know if this is just like a press to fit, guys, or what. Set it on top, nice and even. Speaking of nice and even, I also have a couple of um, wooden, I don't know, blocks, I guess just like two by four chunks um, that are underneath the transmission to keep it level so that when I whack on this with my hammer, um, it's not going to tilt on me. Of course, this is, we've got the flange over here that's holding it up so it can't rest on the bell housing. And can't forget one last thing. 